Hello, family, and thank you for coming on over to the house where we congregate together, we talk shit together, and we try to get into these stories they have trending out here on social media. But yes, before we get into that, I want to thank some of my family members who stopped by that normally don't stop by, but they came on over and check me out okay they just want to sit down and catch up with me so that's pretty much what we catching up about but we're gonna go on into a story that celebrity insider put out and ricky mathers is one of the journalists that wrote an article up on a story titled model hampton calls kenya moore a sad case Kenya is broken. Okay, but before we get to that, we want to thank some of our family members from stopping by because we know they go from or they come from all the highways, the byways, and any which way to get over here to the house and sit and talk a while, sit and talk a spell with us. So we're going to say thank you to Art Edwards. He definitely got down there or she got down there um, and told me what OFC meant. And I thank you plentiful for that edification, that update. OFC, for those who don't know what it means as well, is of course. Okay, all this abbreviated shit that's going on in these uh social media streets i just can't keep up okay that's why I, I, I gotta catch up and i depend on my family to help me out from time to time okay i want to say thank you miss stacy m jackson for informing me that tia Berger was um that works over the Atlanta Black Star is your great niece. Okay, I didn't know we had celebrities up in here. Yeah, so shout out again to Tia Berger. Tell her to come on over here, get in them comments, interact with me, and I'll definitely support her by blowing her up on my channel with all the salacious stories she want to put out for me and the family to partake of. So congrats to Tia Berger over there at Atlanta Black Star. And family, y'all go on over there and show her some love. Get into some of the commentary that she uh, writes for Atlanta Black Star. And let's just blow her on up, okay? Then we're going to thank Helen Willis for stopping by. Kate Bander. We got Anna Banana. I'm like, Anna Banana. Girl, did you eat too many bananas when you were young? And your mama just said, oh, here is my little banana. And it just stuck with you. Tell me the background story because I'm intrigued. But thank you for coming by, baby. And we got Carla Pelly. We got Megabytes 444. The Angela 72. Westchester Siding. Karen Mills and Maria Albert. Okay. Yes. Tell everybody about us and our channel over here. Deb Chanel's 40s World. So they can come on in and express their opinions on subject matter that I may be discussing with my family. Okay. So how was y'all Valentine's Day? Were y'all cool, calm, and collected? Did people break up with you or did you ignite some romance? Okay, tell it down in them comments. You know I like to hear about y'all. Well, I'm still single, mingle, and ready to jingle over here myself. I party with myself. Shoot. Okay, I ain't doing that, y'all. Let me start lying. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a normal day in paradise here over at my camp, okay? Got my mom something for Valentine's Day. Hell, I picked up something myself for Valentine's Day. If you can't get nobody to stroke you on that special day or every other day that come up after that, hell, stroke yourself, all right? I mean, if you need to pleasure yourself, meaning you need them bedroom candy toys over there, do your thing. I ain't really getting into none of that right now. Okay, I've been a virgin here lately. <laughs> okay, I kind of like my status quo. I don't want to be bumping and grinding and tearing up nothing down there. It smells fresh. It's uh tight and right. And shoot, to get in my cookies, you're going to need a hell of a lot on your resume to fulfill the job. Okay, because it ain't nothing but uh finance over here. What they say, there's no romance without finance, okay? I'm trying to tell these young books, get into it, all right? Get into it. 
But yeah, and I bought my daughter something for um, Valentine's Day. So we just pretty much chilled. We chilled. I ate right. I ate good. I ate a cob salad. It was refreshing. Took me a nap. And now I'm on the tube trying to say, Hello, how are you doing today? So make sure you love on yourself every chance you get because can't nobody love you like you and the lord okay but let's get on into this story because i don't tear it a little bit too long okay again we getting the story from ricky mather she's one of the journalists correspondent however you see her but she's writing up articles for celebrity insider and her piece was titled marlo hampton calls kenya moore a sad case Kenya's broken. Let's get on into the article and see what she don't wrote up on this. To see if we can agree or we have to disagree or we just have to stay neutral. Okay, because everybody have an opinion. We may not agree with it, but it must be spoken. Okay, and we must respect that of that person. All right, it says Kenya Moore made an enemy of Tanya Sams on the last episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta by summoning the cookie lady to a brunch. Okay, now you know, not in this article, my sidebar, it's so much speculation going out there to even put Cynthia Bailey into the mix, saying, yes, yeah, she was trying to say she didn't do it, but she did do it. Then she's telling uh, her, her uh, fiance up there saying she didn't do it. So I don't know what y'all think about that i personally think yes she was up in the midst because that's all cynthia do is stay in shit she can't stand on her own she need people to back her up i was trying to say she had a backbone trying to show beneath all of that uh coyness she tries to play and this that and the third but it's just a sad day since they ain't gonna never be a ride or die when it comes to telling people off it just is what it is she ain't made like that but going back to the article it says um the girls were having uh marlo hampton believes that kenya acts this way because of what's going on in her personal life especially her crumbling marriage to mark daly uh i can get with that i can get with that but we're gonna proceed on it says marlo went live on instagram to talk about the latest installment of the show she thinks that more is a sad case that she prays for <laughs> That's right, Marlo. Pray for the baby, okay? Pray for all of us, Marlo, because we all need prayer here and there. Here and there on these highways and byways, okay? But moving back to the article, it says, Hampton went on to say that Moore did a lot of things with her career, but wasn't successful, so it kills her to have to work with her. Woo wee, that's some heavy duty damage control right there. Milo was bringing down the heat on Kenya Moore, saying her career is a complete failure. That's why she had to settle for ratchet reality TV stardom. Okay, now that's just my words. I'm just paraphrasing on what I feel that's coming out of this article. Okay, but we going back to the article. It said the friend of Real Housewives of Atlanta also had a lot to say. About Kenya's relationship with Mark Daly. Mm, okay, let's peep it. Let's, let's peep it. How they say, let's see who they got some facts down here. What this new generation is telling me. And I love them all. Come on over here so y'all can keep me in the know with all this abbreviation shit y'all be doing. And all these new lingos. So, yes, I need my young people up in here too. All right, I appreciate y'all love on you. And it just is what it is. Okay, keep me in the know. You know I'm 52. I don't know all that shit y'all i'll be talking about but if you break it down to me I'm, I'm i'm a student i can learn i can learn all right we're going back to the article it says fans and co-stars have noticed that more becomes a different person when she is around a restaurant or tour daily has done multiple things to make it seems like he isn't happy with his wife now i gotta um slide off of this commentary and and pose a question who believe can you more marry i get so tired of these people speculating ain't not now uh well i finna say birth certificate but marriage certificate has been shown okay and the top blogs they would have got it trust and believe they would have put her on blast okay because they just waiting to get that piece of information but as we see that information is nowhere to be filed 
we can't confirm or deny. We can only speculate. And my speculation has always been she ain't married. She's faking the phone. She's going to put this plot together. And she's going to ride it till the wheels fall off. Okay. And as long as Mark Daly still get money from her. Cipher, uh, cipher to his account. He's going to keep up the charade as well. But going back to the article. It says Marlo told the viewers on her live stream how about when her and Mark had that scene and he was just talking right over her. You want this man and this family so bad and the children and hen you get the children? Just say you have a little girl and a little girl is living with you and she sees and hears how this man is treating you. What does that say about you? Children are not stupid. Preach it, Marlo. Preach it, girl. Okay, you're preaching to the choir, but you're telling nothing but facts. Facts, how my young people say it. Okay, moving back to the article. It says they know when you're all are happy, truly happy, and when you're not. She went on to declare Kenya is broken. Okay, does everybody else found? Do y'all agree with that? Do y'all think Kenya broken? All right. I tend, I tend to agree with Marlo. She's broken. She hurt people because she's been hurt. And she hasn't dealt with that. So until she gets it straight in her head that she needs counseling. She can't go rolling over everybody with all of this uh, blaspheming. She be doing all this unnecessary cussing. Even though y'all say I cuss too. But I don't cuss nothing to the affair that Kenya Moore gets down to cussing. Okay. Just to uh, make her light shine. All right. But anyway, we're going back to the article. It says, um, this comes after the Queen of Twirl said that she doesn't think Marla will ever become a full-time housewife. Well, my sidebar, she seems like a housewife to me. She's been on more episodes than NeNe Leaks. Okay, her and Tanya Sams. They've been running this season 12, okay? They've been right up in all of the mix. She don't have more time than you have, can you? What the hell are you talking about, girl? But anyway, on this season anyway. All right, so you might be looking at the new HBIC. Uh, once they phase Nene on out, if they plan on doing so, okay. But I don't know. She got her little legal eagle beagle over there, Lisa Bloom. It might tell another story. It might set a precedence for the rest of the Real Housewives franchise. But we just have to wait and see. We just have to wait, look, evaluate. And then make our own observation. Okay. That's what we do. That's what we do over here in the family. Uh, we talk shit all day, every day. We speculate. And then when truth has been given to us in black and white, we just got to face it for what it is. And admit we're damn. Okay. That's what we do over here. We got some smart, intelligent, yet ratchet individuals over here that'll get you when it's time to get you. I know because I'm one of them. Okay. And I don't hang around no uh, people that want to punk out. You know, when it ain't time to rise to the occasion no my family ain't like that we stay lot loaded and ready to spray we don't care anybody can get ahead they give it to me <laughs> so you know what we can do if we unite together child please nobody has a chance against the family okay i'm just tooting my horn and with my family behind me we some bad mother shut your mouth okay but anyway we going back to this uh article it says, um, listen, she has a horrible criminal past, so that's just not Bravo's brand. And if she's been on the show for all of these years doing the same thing, why would you want to make her a housewife? Now, see, that's what I'm saying. People are always looking at people past. Stay out of their past. Worry about their present and where they're going into the future because we all have a past. Yes, we do some more shadier than the others. But if they learn something, should we hold that over their heads continuously? Should we continue to bring up their infractions and then at the end of this article it is asking what do you think about this feud i'm like it's no feud <laughs> it's just these women is on this reality show and they bring in the drama okay we don't want to see how people get down when everything is all hunky-dory everybody's laughing giggling hugging having a good time now nah, we want to see the struggle we want to see you in the mix when everything is being torn down around around you and how you gonna rise up from the ashes okay that's what we want to see we want to see the struggle 
All right, because we know ain't everything no uh, unicorns and fairy tales in life itself. No, you stumble, you get uh, thrown to the ground, you get beat up and all this, and then you still have this tenacity and aggression about yourself that you're going to get back up and you're going to walk it again, okay? You're going to walk it, walk it until you get where you're going to where you can just ride. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You're going to be riding in a car, okay? Or plane, jet, helicopter, however you want to get through your transportation. Hell, you can have a minibus out there if you want to. All right, with a driver. So, I said that to say this, fam, it's now your time for you to get down in them comments and you drop down your opinions, your speculations. On, do you agree with Marlo Hampton saying that Kenya is broken? Kenya needs to really seek and look inside herself uh how they say look at the woman in the mirror uh it's time for her to make a change y'all know that man in the mirror man in the mirror michael jackson get into it he may be gone from this plane of existence but his memory and his music shall never die if we keep on partaking of it okay that's all i got fam that's all i have all right but that's me to you you to me we're together on this family tree and we're gonna rock it till the wheels fall off today take us off of youtube or until i stop making money off youtube <laughs> Whichever come first, fam. Whichever come first. But I love you all to the core. And I will see y'all next video. And before I leave, don't forget to tell people about our channel over here. Don't forget to share and like my videos. All right, guys. Be blessed. See you next video. Bye-bye.